Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, 9 Seconds. My name is Claudette McKenzie. Today I have with me Angel, who is going to share her story on why she left her abusive lover. Angel, can you take us back to what it was like living with your lover? I met my abuser online. We fell in love instantly. The first few weeks was like a honeymoon. He showered me with gifts. We had many, many candlelight dinners. And I am a lover of chocolate, so he always brought me roses and chocolate. But my friend said he was a little too perfect, and something didn't sit well with him. But I loved him so much. So, when did the abuse start? It was one night we went out to dinner, and the waiter was talking to me and smiling. And I saw the look on his face. So after the waiter left, he said, why are you disrespecting me? Smiling and flirting with the waiter, but I wasn't. I wasn't flirting. I said, I just, I was just being polite. But, but the look on his face <laughs> it said something. <laughs> Why are you crying? I cried because that night my life changed forever. He beat me so badly after we got home, I had to call out sick from work. After that night, I was beaten on a daily basis. I stayed because I thought he would change. He would beat me one day, then the next few days, he was such a, such a perfect angel. But why? I don't understand, I loved him so much, I don't know what I did wrong. So, what was the final straw that made you decide that you wanted to leave your abusive lover? One night, I decided I wanted to hang out with my friends. And he told me it was okay, but he wanted me to be home by 10. And I came home about five minutes late. And he was at the door and he greeted me with a knife. He stabbed me 15 times on different parts of my body. I guess when I passed out, he must have kept beating me because I could feel the stings and the heat in my neck. I woke up in the hospital fighting, fighting for my life. Like, what did, what did I do wrong? Angel, is there any last thought that you would want to share with your viewers? Please, if you're in a domestic violence relationship, please leave. I know leaving is easier said than done, but look, look at what happened to me. It's not worth your life. Love should never hurt you. Love is compassion. Love is caring and giving each other room to go. I wish I had listened to my friends and family when they said something was wrong with him, but because he was just so perfect at the beginning. People tell themselves it's just going to get better, but if he does it once, he'll do it again. Leave while you still can. Now, it will be difficult for me to, to ever trust another man again. Thank you so much for coming on our show and sharing your story with us. I hope that your story helps someone who is out there in a domestic violence relationship and don't know what to do. Thanks again for watching 9 Seconds. See you guys next week.